All right, what's going on, people? Breadth first search. Breadth first search is a search algorithm for traversing a tree or graph data structure. This is done one level at a time, rather than one branch at a time, like what you see with depth first search. Here's an example. In the previous topic on depth first search, we would navigate a graph one branch at a time. But in a breadth first search approach, we would navigate this graph one level at a time. So let's begin at node A, and we are attempting to travel to node I. Instead of a stack, we'll use a queue. All unvisited nodes we will add to the queue. So we're currently at A, we'll add that to the queue, then add any unvisited adjacent neighbors to the queue as well. We have both B and D as neighbors. So we will add these to the queue, then add any unvisited adjacent neighbors of nodes B and D. That means we will add C, E, and G. And for the next level, we have F and H. And lastly, I. So that is a breadth first search approach. We will navigate a graph one level at a time using a queue rather than one branch at a time using a stack like with depth first search. Let's implement this in code now. Okay, everyone. So in my graph, I'm utilizing an adjacency matrix. We're reusing the same code from the previous few videos, and we have a node class that contains some data. And I went ahead and populated this graph already. It's the same data from the previous few topics. Heading to our graph class, let's create a breadth first search method. Public void breadth first search. And we will take an integer named source. This will be the index of the node we would like to begin searching at. And with a breadth first search, we can utilize a queue. So queue, we will store integers. These will be indices. And I will name this queue equals new. Now queues are actually interfaces. We need to use a data structure that utilizes the queue interface, one of which is a linked list. Okay, so we have our queue, and we're going to create an array of Booleans to mark if a node has been visited or not. So let's create a Boolean array named visited equals new Boolean, and the size will be matrix.length. With the node that we'll begin at, let's add that to the queue. Q dot, you can use add or offer and then pass in the index of the starting node. Then within the Boolean array of visited, we will mark this as true at index of source equals true. And now we'll need a while loop. Our condition is that we'll continue this while loop while the queues size method does not equal zero. We'll assign our source equal to whatever is at the front of the queue. Q dot pull to remove an element. With this code that I've written, I've already went ahead and created an array list of the nodes to access the data. Whenever we pull a node, I'm going to display the data. So this part technically isn't necessary. Nodes dot get source dot data plus equals visited. Let's say that we're at node A. We're going to iterate over this row and look for any adjacent neighbors. So let's use a for loop for that. For int i equals zero. We will continue this as long as i is less than our matrix at index of source dot length. This means the length of the row, then i plus plus. During each iteration, let's check to see if this value is one and the node that we're trying to visit has not already been visited. If then matrix at indices of source and i is equal to 1, and visited at index of i is not true. So we can use the not logical operator. If we have an adjacent neighbor that's not been visited, then we will add the index to the queue, and that node is going to wait in line. Q dot offer i and i is an index, and then mark this node as visited. So take our boolean array visited 
at index of i, set this equal to true, and there we go. Let's invoke the breadth first search of our graph class, then pass in an index of a node we would like to begin at. In this example, node A has an index of 0, B is 1, C is 2, so on and so forth. So let's perform a breadth first search beginning at node A. We will cover these nodes in this order. A, B, C, E, D. Let's change this to 1. That would be node B. B, C, E, D, A. 2 is C. C, D, E, A, B. 3 is D. We can't go anywhere from node D. So only D is visited. And E. E, A, C, B, D. Now before we wrap things up, here are the differences between breadth and depth first searches. Breadth traverses a graph level by level. Depth traverses a graph branch by branch. Breadth utilizes a queue. Depth utilizes a stack. Breadth tends to be better if the destination is on average close to the start. And depth tends to be better if the destination is on average far from the start. In a breadth first search, siblings are visited before children. In a depth first search, children are visited before siblings. And if you ever plan on creating video games, depth first searches tend to be more popular than breadth first searches. All right, everybody, that is the breadth first search. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. Don't be afraid to give this video a thumbs up, drop a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.